Hey yo, my planet goes to friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Horus and the Hidden Oasis, created by K Musla89. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alrighty, this was sent in by one of our Discord expert builders and Diamond patrons. Thank you so much for your tremendous support, Kamusala. And here he says, Hey Johnny, sorry about the resubmission. I wanted to add much more to this park. So I took it down and added a ton of new stuff. This is an exploration park meant to be explored by you. I hope you find all the cool stuff I have hidden. Scavenger hunt photo in Steam Workshop. There is only one rule. No flashlight tool. <laughs> Thanks again for all that you do for this community. Your channel grows bigger and bigger every day. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. Um, what did he say here? Scavenger list. It's a rather small image, um, but I'm looking for the beginning, the Tomb of Death, Tomb of Souls, Maze of Sorrows, Channel 5 Gaming shoutout, <laughs> False Tomb of Horus, Trials of Osiris, Complete the Trials, Treasure of Horus, the Gods, True Raiding Place, Johnny's Hideaway, Horus Sacrificial Chamber, The Maze Cheat, First Right and First Left. Okay, well, um... <laughs> <laughs> Those are some very vague scavenger <laughs> items to find, but uh, we'll definitely try to look for these uh, these things. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, everybody, we are at the park entrance, um, an exploration park. That's something interesting that we haven't really seen before, I suppose. The whole idea is to go on a hunt, I suppose. The to tomb of... T There's got to be something in here. Right? Just simply couldn't listen, could you? <laughs> Since you're here, take a sec to check out the Channel 5 Gaming on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, that must be one of the Easter eggs. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh boy, all these canals, there could be things down any of them. <laughs> What's in here? We're gonna be taking a close look at everything today if it's a scavenger hunt, right? We got another cave. He said don't use the flashlight tool. We're cheating! <laughs> nope, nothing in here. Hello! Lots of staff down here. Lots of gold. Well, is this one of the Easter eggs? Is it a gold room? I don't know what we're looking for now. It's a very vague list. Like, what is the beginning? What is the Tomb of Death? The Tomb of Souls? Uh, what is the Treasure of Horus? Was that the Treasure of Horus? Hmm. So cool theming going on here. Lovely use of the adventure pack. Where are we going? Hot dog squad, shout out to the hot dog squad. Some shops and stuff. Looks like there's a coaster there. Gonna have to give that a ride. This must be the exit to the coaster. Yep. All right, well, that was a long exit. <laughs> All that dedicated to this here. Well, guys, we are at our first attraction of the park. We launched Cloud Runner. We got to give this a go. So there's a look at the stats if you want to see them closely. And uh, I will cut to it when we got one here.
Alrighty, there it is. Very fun coaster, Kevin. Um, couple things to note. You did hit some trees. Definitely ride your coaster again in both wing perspectives. I think we smashed into a couple trees there. Um, in terms of your, uh, well, your initial launch, you do one inversion and straight into trim brakes. I found that kind of rather, uh, interesting. Um, other than that, though, the theming is really neat. Some really cool custom supports. The coaster was very smooth and looping. I like the exploration of it. The views and vistas were great. Overall, very strong. Okay, so this is a exploration park, I guess. So we're going to go the reverse way through the queue because we came from the exit and see what else we can find in this park. See, I don't know exactly if we're going to know when we find what's on the list. <laughs> but we'll do our best here. Make sure we hit all the nooks and crannies. Well, here's a temple. This is like the Tomb of Death or the Tomb of Souls. This is definitely the Tomb of Death, right? So we found that. But yeah, there should be a little sign or something, right? You would imagine. Just, uh... Be sure you know what you found when you found it. And he said something about a no flashlight. I'm, I'm still waiting to go into some sort of cavern. Oh, we got a monorail. Wait from here six years. Oh my. Well then. Do we even... <laughs> what? <laughs> Do we even bother going down this queue? We could find an Easter egg. Oh, boy. Holy Toledo's. Definitely six years. <laughs> I hope you're up for walking, everybody. And the queue gets super skinny. Howdy, Kala. Well, we're getting on this thing, because I don't know where it's supposed to take us. Hello. A little <laughs> awkward, isn't it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Where am I going? Hey, whoa, what is that? I'm not ready to leave. Uh, what is happening? There's a lot of stuff down there. I think there's a lot more of this park than uh, meets the eye. On the surface, it looks like there's just the one coaster and a few temples, but this monorail is telling us otherwise. There's a underground world here. Interesting. Um, where are we going? Don't tell me we're going back to the station we came from. Oh my god. Are we? <laughs> what was the point of that? Well, at least it told us that there is uh, some sort of underground world. But it's not very apparent, is it? Because... Where do I find it? I'm back to the beginning. Um... Yeah. There's no... way to turn. We, we went down there. There's nothing over there. We took the monorail, it took us nowhere. So I thought it would've been cool if we went into the monorail. And it, it dropped us off in this secret world. Yeah, so I've been here before. So, had I not have gone on that monorail, <laughs> and uh, noticed that there's this underground world, I would have technically been done with this spotlight, right? Because we went down the queue, we went down the exit, and there's nothing else here. And looking at the park from a distance, that's it! <laughs> so... How do we get to this underground world? 
I think you should have made that a little bit more apparent and again I would have used the monorail to take us there because I would have had no idea and it would it would have been a clever way of doing it but it just went around in a circle I don't know what the point of that was so yeah I mean I'm all for Easter eggs but that seems like a lot of stuff hidden we're gonna uh we're gonna cheat because the park down here is bigger than the park up there we gotta figure this out there's there is a tunnel how do you get down here it's driving me mad even looking at it here, I still can't figure it out. <laughs> Does any of this make sense? Is this it here? No, it doesn't connect. What in the world? Okay, look at this. It looks like the monorail is supposed to come down here. Why did we do a loop? I gotta turn the light on, this is driving me mad. No, it doesn't. What the heck? That's a fake monorail? I am, I am so confused. Okay, here's a ramp, right? That's a ramp. <laughs> well, if they're watching this video, they're most likely already subscribed. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to break this down in reverse, everyone. I see guests. I see a rope. How did the guests get down here? There's a monorail! I feel like I'm being trolled. What is happening? Oh, no, no, we gotta go in reverse because we gotta figure out where this monorail came from. It is backed up. Oh, God, why is there two tracks? Gotta follow the right one. Gotta follow the right one. Ah! Okay, well now I've completely mixed it up. What are you doing to me? What am I doing with my life? What is happening? Did I take the wrong monorail? I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. What the heck? Not for visitors, just for peeps. What the heck? This is laziness. It is. What? Where are these coming from? I'm gonna be pulling my hair out in a minute. Okay, well, I give up. <laughs> I do not know how you're supposed to get down here. This? This? Is this it? Why did... What? No. This makes no sense. No sense. Okay. We're gonna end this spotlight with a fit of rage. From the top here, there doesn't seem to be any clear way to get down. So this was a hidden world. But how are the people getting down? <clears throat> this has to be it. There's people on there. This is the one I went on. And I just ended back up. What? How did... How did I go all the way down and come back up and not get dropped off at a different station? Well, I guess we're about to find out. This seems to be the correct answer. This is such a weird video, you guys. <laughs> oh, bear with me, right? Uh, we're in this together. It ends! It's a trick track. It's a freaking trick track. Or does it end? Or does it end? That doesn't even make sense. It just crashes through the freaking ground. Okay, it does. Um, it supposed to drop us off here. Why didn't why didn't that happen to us? All right. Well, now we've ridden the monorail, the f tr not so trick one. There must be two up there, and they're like on the same thing, and one goes in a loop, and one doesn't. Something like that. Okay, so this is where we get off apparently, and now we can continue the spotlight and uh, go down endless tunnels where are we going <laughs> we found a coaster thank god <laughs> there's something to do okay let's go on the looney turds guys there's the stats oh my god we have an aneurysm let's uh let's go
right. Um, if I wasn't able to use the flashlight, we wouldn't get anywhere. Just look at this. <laughs> How would I ever navigate this place without a flashlight? Uh, I, I don't know the purpose of this. Oh, uh, just to break my soul. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, moving on. These, uh, signs don't make sense to me. Kevin. What are you doing to me? Oh, man. Trials of Osiris. That's on the list, isn't it? It's number seven. We found it. Wait, is that a Q? What? What? Again, turn the flashlight off. How am I supposed to navigate this? This would be impossible. Oh, what? That's the... Oh my god. I quit! I quit! What's this place all about? Oh, we found the gold room. We did, we did. Um. Uh, okay, that's a thing. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> well, Alright, we're cutting corners now. I have lost my mind in this madness, this labyrinth of underground chaos. And we are just gonna go try and find a coaster. And if, uh... Oh, look at that. Here's one of the easter eggs, so I guess you're supposed to climb down a hole. Yep. Pretty much. And what is this? Is that my grave? This is me after this park spotlight. <laughs> Am I just super salty, guys? Uh, are you just as salty as me? Uh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, that's the coaster we just went on, isn't it? Looney turns. Okay, that's a chicken head. I'm leaving. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in circles. I can't seem to find any other attractions. Wait, is this... This? Yes! That is not a Looney turns. Woohoo! We found something! Two things! Look at that! Here we go, guys. We have some coasters. Alright, there's a look at the stats. I have no idea. The Hidden City, you wouldn't say! <laughs> Freaking hell. Okay. We're going on it. And one more over here. Single rail. There's a look at the stats. We got one in the station. Let's jump on it.
All right, <laughs> that coaster was not very good. Uh, no offense, we crashed into a lot of things and um, it was very wobbly. But, um, yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> is there another one back here? I think so. Well, at least we got to ride some coasters today. Um, going into this, I was a little bit worried that the park was just what we saw up top. All right. I'll talk about it a little bit more after. Let's jump on this one here. Nobody's going on this for some reason. And that one's leaving without us. Here we go. That one bush placed in the center of the track. <laughs> Was that just there to <laughs> freaking troll me? Oh my god, there's so many of my pet peeves in this park. <laughs> Did I do something to you, Kevin, to make you hate me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, did- that's- that's another coaster, isn't it? They just, like, keep magically appearing, don't they? <laughs> well... We're certainly getting her done here today. Finally, let's do it. it <laughs> what <laughs> it's over before it starts um <laughs> okay oh well, um <clears throat> let's talk about it because i think we hit all of our coasters i'm pretty sure we didn't hit everything on the scavenger list but <sighs> have mercy i don't think i have the patience to look for them all uh, my patience has run thin today guys this is um how you drive a person mad underground caverns that are dark that don't make a lot of sense that have magical monorails that take you back but are supposed to go somewhere else i have no idea what was going up with that <laughs> but gotta say when i did the cinematic shots and i opened up the park i was like okay it's a coaster spotlight there's a uh, one coaster but i thought okay there's got to be something in here. There's got to be a park around because he said, sorry for resubmitting. I wanted to work on this a bunch more. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a chance. I did not expect there to be all of this under here. And uh, that's what you get. Well, you roll the dice, you open up a park, you never know what to expect. You hit record and here we are, <laughs> losing our minds. <laughs> Going crazy. Oh, gosh. Uh, so that's the thing. 
Um, <laughs> a lot of my pet peeves in this crashing into things. Um, no vistas. I love my vistas. It's all uh, weird. Um, unpolished cues. <laughs> unthemed shops. It's just... Uh, <laughs> it hurts my soul. So, um, but there were some coasters in here, and, uh, I guess that was pleasantly surprising considering I thought, um, it was just gonna be a single coaster spotlight here today. In terms of the scavenger list, it really just doesn't make much sense to me. Even when I find something, I'm not sure if it's on the list, if it's, if it's supposed, like, what is the beginning? <laughs> Did I find that when I walked into the park? Um, <laughs> Kevin... So, Kevin's done, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, the uh, Pandora Park or Coaster Spotlight from way back in the beginning. It was w within the first 50 spotlights I ever did. It was amazing. Kevin's done some really good stuff, and I think I featured him a couple weeks ago. He did the uh, Red Alps. He's done some pretty good stuff. So, you know, um, he said he was working on a park when he submitted the Red Alps. For some reason, I thought this was it. Um, but this is definitely not it. So Kevin must be working on a, a park that he's really taking seriously. And I thought I thought this was it going into it. And if you look at this park from the uh, top 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 area, uh, it does look like he was taking it seriously. It's got some great views, some great terraforming, some great waterfalls, temples, decorations, bridges. The, the coaster was pretty good up top. So um, yeah, I was uh, I didn't expect it to be this uh, craziness going on. And it, it <laughs> oh boy, there's um, there's a lot of unfinished things down here, but also just like craziness. So I don't know what to say going on <laughs> to wrap this park spotlight up, other than uh, leave your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys thought. Hey, look, there's a playground. <laughs> you just never stop finding stuff. Um, if you guys want to complete that scavenger list. For yourselves, links are down in the description below. Go drop it a rating, download it, and uh, check it out. Maybe you can complete that scavenger list. And uh, there you guys go. That's going to do it for this episode of Park Spotlight. If you enjoyed, <laughs> smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so by becoming a patron. All right, everyone. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.